What is up everyone and welcome to the unboxing of this iMac G3 flower power. Now unfortunately the box has sustained quite a bit of damage. I haven't opened it yet, it came like this. The box is also soaking wet, um, pretty much wet through. Um, it's raining outside but hopefully the Mac is okay. I really really do hope that it's okay. Um, if you guys saw the video on the vlogging channel, I was meant to upload it last week, but it got really busy because it was my birthday and stuff. Um, I basically took a risk and bidded on this um, Flower Power iMac G3 and I managed to win it. The, um, so I'm just absolutely, I just can't believe that I won it um, because it's so rare and these go fairly expensive. I paid quite a chunk of money for this, but I think it'll be worth it considering the content that I can make about it. And um, yeah. I, um, now that I have a flower power, I, I won't be looking for a 700 megahertz unless one pops up for like 10, 20 quid. Um, but let's dig in. This is the 600 megahertz flower power iMac G3 from 2001. A crazy design, not to everyone's taste. I guess you either love it or you hate it. Um, or maybe you just like it a little bit. I personally think that it's pretty cool. And I just like it because um, it's rare and you're owning something rare and cool, so. So here is the box. One good thing is there's a nice lot of bubble wrap. So what I think I'm gonna do is, wow, there it is. The iMac is actually right there. Poor little thing just sitting in there. Oh gosh, let me get a fresh angle for you guys to see it. Oh man. It is so, so nice. Okay, okay. Damn, it's, uh, it's not looking great, guys. It's not looking great. So in there we have the Flower Power iMac. Um, of course, we've got a kettle lead with it, which is cool. Um, let's pull it out. Now I am gonna be gentle because I can tell that the casing is popped apart back here. And the Apple logo has popped out at the back. Um, but let's take a little look and see. Oh dear, that's not good. That is not good, oh dear, dear, dear. Okay, here we have it. Here is the iMac G3. Now, we'll have a closer look around it in a second, but let's see if there's an Apple logo in here or whether there just isn't one. My dear gosh, guys. All bits of smashed up plastic in the bottom. That is sad, okay. Um, I better take some photographs of this, I'm afraid. Just because I may need to claim some, some money back for this. It's damaged in shipping. Bits of plastic shard everywhere, which I can only assume was the Apple logo, I guess. Okay, guys, okay. Let's pop the box aside and pop it over there. It is so important to package these properly. Let's take a little look at the iMac, poor little thing. Okay, let's move it over here and I'll get the camera to take a closer look at this system. Um, but yeah, not looking great at the moment, guys. Not looking great. So guys, uh, if you take a look at the side here, we've got um, all the top half of the casing has, has cracked out of the bottom half and it's all shattered around the side. There is a big crack up the side of the casing here where it's popped off. That could be quite easy to pop back in, not too sure, but all the plastic is cracked away from there. Um, if we spin around, the whole top casing, what was that? That was the noise of something else cracking, I guess. Um, the back, the Apple logo is not there. It's just a hole straight through to the metal. Um, round here, the whole system is dented in on the side, unfortunately. And um, that seems to be it for noticeable damage. Um, so 
quite a beat up little flower power iMac. On the plus side, the, the flower power design looks absolutely gorgeous in person. Looks really, really nice. Um, I'm just absolutely gutted that it's that it's smashed up. The, the top handle feels loose in the casing. The whole top casing feels loose and is pushed to one side. This has had a big knock. Um, so what we're gonna have to do now is plug it in, see if it works. I believe this was ad advertised as working, um, but we'll have to check it out, see what it does. Um, hopefully it fires up, but it's sustained quite a few knocks. The box was badly damaged and the iMac itself is badly damaged. So let's, uh, let's try firing it up and seeing what it does. I'll lift it up onto the desk in place of my other iMac and we'll see what it does. So everyone, I've taken photographs of all the damage um, and I've decided that even though I haven't tested it yet, I don't know if it works, I'm still not happy with the damage at all. Um, it said there was a few knocks to it in the description, like a few marks or whatever, but none of this was detailed and this is, this is plainly obvious that it's happened in, in transit. Um, so I haven't, I've plugged the power cable in, I haven't plugged it into power just in case it blew up and if it does blow up I want to catch it on camera because obviously if it injures me then obviously that's not my fault so I can plug it in, see if it blows up. Three, two, one. Okay, so the plug is in, it has not blown up. Let's try booting it up. Three, two, one, go. We have a bong. We have a white power light, which is nice. Really like that. Hard driver spun up. CRT is on, but wonky. It's been knocked about a bit. You can see there on the top, it's higher that side, lower that side. It's sitting out of frame. It's booting up. So as you can see, the iMac basically works, um, but not sure if you can see the, the wonky screen on camera there. Yeah, that's really uh, going to annoy me, that wonky screen. Uh, booting up fairly quick, impressed with that. Looks like it's got Tiger on it. Sorry about the noise in the background, everyone. There's uh, some work going on in my house at the moment. Not sure if you can hear that. But anyway, back on subject, waiting for printing services. The CRT isn't too badly wonky, but it definitely is not straight, but I could sort that probably. It's the, it's the picture tube inside the, the picture, the inside the CRT. So waiting for it to boot up, and I want to check that I got what I paid for in terms of specifications. Oh, it's had a fresh installation. Hey guys, the Panther intro. Here it is, complete with music. That is really cool. That is really, really cool. That's something right there, folks. That is something right there. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna set this Mac up um, right now because I gotta get in contact with the eBay seller first. I don't wanna enter in all my details just in case I have to return it or whatever. I don't want to return it. I'd rather get, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do to be honest, folks. I'm gonna message him, send him pictures, see what he says, uh, or she, I have no idea. But yeah, here's my new iMac, everyone. Not quite as successful as I wanted it to be, um, but it's here at least, I want it, and it's, it's working. So that is something, it's a rare flower power model. And oh my, Gosh, there is two massive cracks in the top as well. I did not see those. Okay, not not happy, guys. Not happy with that at all. But um, yeah, I will uh, I will keep you updated on the situation. I'll probably make another video on it later on in the week when I get some um, when I get a reply from the eBay seller. Um, basically, see how it goes. But that is me done for now. At least I know there's a fresh copy of Panther on there, which is really cool. And um, there's some interesting IMNC trivia revolving around that Pan Panther intro music. And if anyone can uh, name it down in the comment section, you are a true old school IMNC fan. Um, so thank you very much for watching everyone. Sorry that this video has been not as exciting as it should have been. As you can tell, this is severely disappointing for me and after paying pretty much triple figures for this thing because it's rare and I wanted it for the channel to showcase to you guys and make videos about, I am disappointed with, with the outcome. Um, quite 
quite disappointed actually. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to let it ruin my day because I've got lots of other things to film, lots of other unboxings this week. Um, it's been my birthday, it was my birthday last week, so I've got some exciting unboxings to come. Um, big thank you for watching everyone. <laughs> As always, I will see you in the next video.